Hi hey folks, Dino Bob here in Nagoro Paleo Park, and I'm here to put in our second animal in the two-star regime of the park. Uh, so obviously you know from the uh, title card that the animal is Nasutoceratops, and you also know that we have a special one in here somewhere. We'll get to him in a bit. Uh, so this is uh, where we're headed. Uh, viewing platform over there with an amenities building to help uh, bring some more money into the park and a lovely place for our Nasudos to hang out. So the habitat is just beyond the Skeletosaurus one. The One of the viewing areas, and this one we're looking at right now, is part of that stone walkway that we uh, saw go in for Skeletosaurus. Uh, slightly modified, uh, but a similar kind of roofed viewing area. Uh, because this is a deep enclosure, uh, particularly, uh, this one has binoculars. So right now we're doing the speed build to get uh, habitat in there. This is uh, with one the Pseudoceratops in. Uh, and uh, the usual sort of thing that uh, requires um, moving some of the brush put down vegetation uh, to something more aesthetic and less clumped. Uh, if you don't move that brush fast enough, everything lands on top of each other, uh, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, these animals are forest loving, so a lot of uh, buildings. I'm going with uh, very much a wetland swamp environment. Uh, and uh, a lot of these uh, cypresses as the main forest uh, with a couple of uh, highlights of the, uh, oh, what's it called? I don't know, the one with the moss hanging off it. <laughs> uh, they'll be going in a bit later. Uh, papyrus uh, for our immediate wetland vegetation. And this was started actually before swimming went in. So these pools are pretty shallow and I don't remember if it's on the video or not but of course once swimming was available I wanted uh, at least the opportunity for a, a little bit of swimming for these animals so I uh, deepened the ponds uh, a little bit uh, at least in part so uh, the net result is the animals can indeed get in a little bit of swimming that's the tree I was talking about um, just uh, for some reason the name's not coming up in my head uh, but that's uh, that's what it is overall this video is going to be a little bit shorter this time uh, the, the placing of vegetation isn't all that uh, really tricky and whatnot uh, but it's nice to see every once in a while uh, I'm pretty sure you don't want to sit through it all I've been paying a little of attention to sight lines I wanted to obscure as much of the care building in the back there uh, for where the guests could look from. Uh, hence these mangroves right here uh, by the amenities platform and the bamboo that went in in the back there um, a bit earlier. Uh, so uh, I think overall this one uh, did come out pretty good uh, and pretty happy with it. Uh, the density of those uh, brushes sometimes means you get a lot more vegetation than you need. And so that this sequence here is me taking out uh, some of the too much papyrus. Um, some of it is for aesthetics, some of it is just to cut down that piece count and get the, uh, the vegetation down into a range the animal is happy with. You can see trees are going away now. Uh, trees are one of the faster, faster ways to uh, drop that uh, percentage uh, because they're big and they count for more. Uh, it's fairly uh, simple. I didn't work as hard for this habitat to make the fence go away in the back, partly because it's low-lying wetlands kind of swampy environment, uh, so hills are not uh, indicated. Um, and partly uh, just because. Uh, so one of the, the reasons this animal has uh, was not the first one in 
is, as you can see, it's a strength two fence there. So that had to be researched and uh, had to have the budget to do that. Um, that also influenced the choice of the next animal in. Uh, but it had an additional constraint. Uh, now it was trying to spread out the costs uh, because the park is still not making tons of money. Um, but as long as one is cautious about one spending and gives the park a little uh, breathing room in between habitats, uh, you can work without getting a loan and still make money. Uh, and uh, I don't know if the devs have fixed it the last time I tried loans. It was just horrendous on the repayment thing and it can be a real killer to your park success. Uh, okay, so um, most of it's in place now. Uh, this uh, shot here is giving you a look at that uh, amenities viewing platform. The lip there and the pillars, that's four pieces. The pillars are actually uh, tile roofing, uh, colored and enlarged, really large, so that a tile becomes a pillar. Uh, but uh, really useful, parsimonious use of pieces to get a decent looking uh, image into the game. So a little bit of rocks to finish it off and then some animal uh, viewing. Uh, I'll look at uh, the leucistic uh, pseudoceratops as he charges the camera. Uh, this was a phase when they were like trot running everywhere. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're headed for the barn. Uh, they were also spending a lot of time going to their barn. Uh, it's an Acidoceratops, I think, thing, I think. Uh, anyway, so it's night in the park and time to think about signing off. I uh, hope you all have enjoyed it. If you did, uh, drop a like, make a comment. Uh, look forward to seeing those things and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, till the next video, this is Dino Bob saying take care of yourselves out there, be kind to each other, and I'll see you in another video. Bye now.